It is a day that none of us will forget. One year ago, a gunman walked into Clackamas Town Center and opened fire, killing two people, wounding another, and then turning the gun on himself. Today, we return to the mall as hundreds of people gather to remember Cindy Yule and Stephen Forsyth. But some people who were there that day still have not gone back there. A year later, Larissa, mm -hmm. how, how you can't step foot in the mall? Why is that? Jenny Hansen is live outside of Clackamas Town Center. And Jenny, there's a memorial candlelight vigil there tonight. There is, Ken. We're actually waiting on that to start. It's starting at about 5.30. You can see the tents off to my right side here. It's set up near the entrance to the food court and the movie theater. That's near in the mall where that shooting happened. You know, that night, uh, there were about 10,000 people inside of the mall. And as you mentioned, it's a tragedy that's just impacted so many of their lives. One of those women, Jolie Winaga spoke with, she had her cell phone that night and managed to get video in those moments after the shooting. It is video that's been seen around the world. It's almost a daily constant reminder that people died. Larissa Tarakova's cell phone video was shown to the world moments after she pressed record during the sheer panic of the deadly Clackamas Town Center shooting rampage. The images still haunt this former mall employee to this day. I had my phone out still after we were getting walked out and that's when they said, you know, everybody put your hands up and instantly, obviously putting your hands up is usually not something that they tell you on a regular basis. So I switched on my camera. And perhaps captured the most chilling video in the seconds after the gunfire rang out. And the horror of last year's tragedy still haunts Larissa. In fact, to this day, she still can't bring herself to set foot back inside Clackamas Town Center. After seeing so many people frightened and having so many people just shaken from that, it's just something that I don't really like doing anymore. Very big open spaces inside the mall, especially that mall in particular. It's kind of hard. But she knows she's one of the fortunate ones who escaped with their lives that day. Larissa happened to be walking toward the food court where the gunfire erupted. I was halfway and I turned around. And as soon as I sat down with my pretzel, three, four minute difference, and I would have been inside that situation. A situation that changed her outlook on life and how fragile it can be. Within seconds, you, I could have been gone within seconds. Reporting in Clackamas, Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. And as we said, she was one of thousands of people inside of the Clackamas Town Center that night one year ago. There were also a lot of families inside with children. They were doing Christmas shopping, and many of them were waiting to see Santa. Well, coming up tonight at 5, we will sit down and speak with one family who was actually in line waiting to see Santa when that shooting happened. You'll hear their account of what happened where they were and also why they plan to come back here this year and see that same Santa that is at the Clackamas Town Center. Reporting for you live outside of the Clackamas Town Center, Jenny Hansen, Coin 6 News.